So over the weekend, the first trailer for the new Christopher Nolan film, Oppenheimer, dropped. I didn't do a trailer reaction for it because I was out sick, and so I, I just couldn't get everything done that I wanted to get done, but... Definitely wanted to share my thoughts on a new Christopher Nolan trailer. And this feels like a very different movie from anything he's done before because it is based off, of course, a real-life event. But it's not a war film like Dunkirk was. And so it can't kind of play into his usual bag of tricks. It feels like this is probably Nolan trying to get some Oscar recognition, trying to tell a very compelling story that's more character-based, less spectacle-based, maybe for a more niche audience. Christopher Nolan's one of my absolute favorite directors. He's one of the most interesting directors right now. He always finds an angle that has a unique spin on whatever he's trying to do. So that has my attention when it comes to this movie. At the same time, I'm, I'm curious about it just because it is so different different in a lot of ways from what I expect from a Christopher Nolan film. And so I don't know exactly how this one's going to play out. How does his bag of tricks, what he's really good at, apply to the research for the A-bomb? I don't know. Even in the trailer, you can understand like the philosophical moral dilemma that it's trying to explore through the characters. You can see the cool spectacle through the explosions, but I don't know how that translates. It, it's not the same type of spectacle as, say, an action sequence when you're watching test explosions of the bomb or an actual A-bomb being dropped on a city. That's not a thrilling and exciting. It's horrifying. So I don't know exactly how this one's going to work, but that's also what makes it so interesting, that it is something different from him, him trying something that's not a total departure from what he's done before, but it is a next step and as a top-tier director, anything that he does, I'm interested in. And I like that he kind of goes back and forth between something that's a little bit more dramatic prestige and something a little bit more popcorn, mainstream, sci-fi. And so, last one was Tenet. That means this one's a little bit more kind of the dramatic flair. I'm here for it. Let me know what you thought down below in the comment section. Likewise, if you want to know my thoughts on all the other Christopher Nolan films, I got a couple playlists. Actually, a ranking right there and a playlist of reviews of all of his movies except Interstellar. Thank you guys so much for watching. Keep talking movies and TV too much. Bye-bye.